In the year 1955, there was a painter named John Brack who painted a painting called Collins Street at 5 p.m. If you saw the painting with me, you would find people with gloomy features, and you felt like they were dull and depressed, and they had no passion for life or payment. It would not be a description of what the average employee looks like when he leaves work at 5 o'clock and goes home on an Australian street. In light of the changes that are being faced at this time, politicians and economists have thought about how to make the work system pleasant and at the same time ensure that employees remain happy and healthy instead of the type of work they accepted. There is a kind of boredom, and they call it the wellness system. Of course, my friend, you are now happy and comfortable with this system, and you are curious to know the answers to some questions, such as what exactly is the story of the system and how it applies the uniform and is it nice or not. We learn all this in today's episode, which is based on the book The Wellness Syndrome, The Myth of the Perfect Man. Andre Spicer and Because no human being is perfect, as we say, earn it for the relationship to succeed. The oil deals with disagreements and manages the situation. Correct? May the love remain between you. Be why the way, also Friday in flash sale for the annual balance for the first thousand subscribers on the occasion of Green November. I get a premium, unlimited account in Green for 20 Egyptian pounds per month, meaning 240 Ghani per year, paid in advance from within Egypt, or at $1.75 per month, equivalent to $21 per year, paid in advance. For other countries, use green on the website. And as you subscribe, my friend, let us know what this wellness syndrome system is, but first, let us take a look at the modern labor market and ask ourselves an important question. What is the difference between our modern professional life and professional life? Time? Can you tell me, I swear I can, I can't find a job at all to judge, and I'm telling you the difference happened. In the past, the opportunity to find a job was much easier than today, and there was still something called a government assignment, but today the job market has no longer invited you to job opportunities. She said, and there is no longer an assignment. Temporary contracts, and you remain responsible for hiring yourself. Secondly, time has changed. Work used to be in the factory or office, and it would end when you went home. But today, if we raised you and let you do our work, you will find a job that will go home with you, meaning that you help, then you have more silence, and you continue it at home, taking courses to develop yourself for work. You think about work all the time and think about tomorrow working. As for the third difference, it is the most dangerous among them. For a long time, he had job security, and the jobs that your son works, there is no possibility that he will work for anyone else his AGE.AS for Alnada. It is exactly the opposite, with a constant promise of unemployment. Are you not guaranteed to complete your work until the end of the month or not? Is job instability still a feature of the times? For example, in China, companies in the technology sector laid off about 216,800 employees from May 2021 to March 2022, and the company alone laid off more than 19,000 employees in the year 2022 alone, and in companies in other fields, first when it faces an economic problem without thinking, it dispenses with a pill. Employees as far as I conclude from the comparison, three characteristics constitute our life today. A grocery store, the first thing is that unemployment has become a very widespread phenomenon, and I no longer know this because of the economic conditions, and you are not a player. The second thing is that there is no longer any difference between home and work, and half of your life is at work, and the second half is to develop yourself for work and remain desirable in the labor market. To the point that if you have a piece of free time left, you will lose, and you will lose yourself and take a chair for yourself and nothing, changing your family and social relationships during the day. 
As for the third thing, you are constantly in fear of the future, and you ask yourself, will I continue with this job? And am I not being laid off? No, Sybil Zemus comes after four of our jobs to meet him. Is she working with my degree? Haven't you seen Carrier? Are you a freelancer or a company? And in the midst of the vortex of abundance, there is a wellness system, and we have the solution. The system promises you that the prescription you will be given will make you a second person, a complete person, with good health, an ideal body, always happy and self-aware, and may God grant you repentance at work, and you will remain desirable in the labor market, in fact. There are still companies that apply the system to their employees in order to reach a higher production rate. Honestly, the words sound beautiful and appear sweet, but on the outside. But in reality it is dark and bad from the strength of the system, this wellness has turned into a syndrome. Don't you believe me? My party agrees with me on a definition of the word syndrome. The medical definition of the syndrome is that it is a group of separate symptoms in different places in the body that appear together as a result of one cause, such as, for example, Down syndrome. Well, this means that the term wellness syndrome remains interchangeable. If you apply the previous definition, the symptoms will remain. Pain, fear, stress, and a constant feeling of guilt, the reason is that it is the wellness system. How are you, Linda? As we agreed, the wellness system depends on the fact that you are supposed to be a perfect human being. If you knew how to achieve the two basic pillars of your awareness, which are ideal health and lasting happiness, you would be a failure and shunned from society, not just from the labor market, so let us introduce you to the wellness system. I apply the two pillars, be aware of the same, and decide with me in the end, and we start with the first pillar of the wellness system, which is ideal health. The wellness system tells you that your health must remain good because of your health or energy level. You will not be able to work, and it will reduce your productivity and continue with it. It will reduce your market value, and you will be more at risk of unemployment. Don't worry, the wellness system will make you happy. For example, companies appoint fitness trainers to become management consultants in the company and take care of the health and departments of the employees. They determine for me what they eat, when and how much, and who they like to exercise at work. Hence, if you have an ideal weight and your health is iron, then you are an ideal employee in the company and your department can handle a number of jobs more hours and more production or vice versa if you weigh two pounds more then you are definitely an inactive employee and we cannot depend on you frankly speaking it seems logical but let us continue and go outside to work a little you will find me on other topics such as how to reach the coast formula even if you have money to go to the coast these types of diets that have emerged are not pictured, such as intermittent fasting, KET, and the diet of the mind that regulates the diet of families. Literal intellectual calories, for example. Let us tell you about it in front of you. The important thing is that you make the format dialogues and let us turn on the television and watch a bunch of movies. And series, and you always notice that I have a character who suffers from obesity, and it is considered the raw material for comedy, and you find scenes that depend on the obese characters being apples, or they can be relegated to the role of evil characters. Firstly, her morals are bad, or she is lazy and does not depend on her. And let us suppress the previous threads and see the first pillar of the system of wellness and religion. The film is initially like this, the system of wellness is about the healthy qualities of moral qualities, and if it is clear in the stereotype that media and drama try to gain in our minds by intentionally or unintentionally. I put people who are overweight in the category of lazy people, but they cannot be relied upon, because they certainly do not have one quarter pound of willpower, which is the reason for their excess weight because they are unable to eat 
although not all cases of obesity are caused by eating. There are people who smoke because of eurasial hormonal problems or side effects of some medications, the second need for a wellness system, spreading the culture of centering around the body, meaning that you always reach the ideal shape, the ideal shape, and the center of your diet. If you are able to follow a diet, you will be able to achieve one thing and become a philosophical writer and another. It is a constant feeling of fear and guilt, so you remain afraid that you will smoke for any reason, and you will fall into the category of laziness, and your chances of working will decrease, and at the same time there is an excuse or reason that reduces people who have a weight problem, but the feeling of guilt makes you feel bad if you feel bad about yourself. Burger Sandwich In fact, my friend, I need to explain to you that I do not deny the dangers of obesity, and I certainly am not against the fact that your health remains good. The whole point is that you do not have to lose weight and use methods that harm your health in order to get into shape, the ideal body, which may have standards that are not compatible with you. So you reach a stage of stress and anxiety that accepts you as wanting something like this. We have finished the first pillar and left the second pillar of the wellness system. Think, is the second pillar better than the first? Or will he come out and see him? Disaster? Also, we will see the second pillar of the system. Wellness is happiness, and that you remain happy all the time. The smile never leaves any doubt. The wellness system has come out fresh and sweet and I can choose it for myself. Believe me, my friend, I am not short on it or anything. I am now going to tell you what the wellness system will deliver to you. For happiness, and of course the wellness system wants your best interest, because in a study in the field of business administration, it says that happy customers are more productive and happiness is the path to productivity. So you must remain happy in order to remain a productive and exemplary employee, and keep in mind the system, wellness tells you that happiness is the key to success, not the other way around, and happiness is a choice and a responsibility. Personal because it exists, and every one of us feels it, like the visual force in the movie The Great China Bean, and all you need to achieve happiness is to think positively and based on the wrong concept of happiness. Unfortunately, you read the verse and the topic changes with you, which equals depression and sadness. Because happiness like this has become imposed on you at all times, even if you have other feelings like sadness, pain, and anger, it is not useful among them, and if you do not know how to remain happy, then you are the one who failed, so you think positively, and so that you do not appear to fail like this, such as being perfectly happy. Okay, as I can think of a way to reach all of Suda in absentia, I can actually reach the square, and hence a job, Axel will help you, to do anything better, and you can consult him about everything, for example, if you want to buy a house or improve your health, find a job, improve your skills, discover yourself, literally anything, and the most important tool he uses to achieve all of this is to achieve a positive way of thinking. The profession of al is very common in our modern life, meaning there are about 45,000 guides around the world, and al costs about $2 billion annually. Yes, I still did not tell Nash that positive thinking is a type of magical thinking. What depends is that you can achieve anything with the power of your mind and your positive attitude, and if you do not know how to realize that you are thinking wrong, and the method of positive thinking has spread among people, especially after the publication of the book The Secret by author Rhonda Byrne, in which she used emotional stories and conversations containing wisdom to convince people. Change the promise of easy success with the power of positive thinking only. I mean, for example, the author says that if you want songs, focus your mind on the things you want, and your mind works like a magnet and the power of your thoughts. Money and wealth will lie to you. Even diseases can be hidden by the power of your will. If you focused on healing, 
and if you were thinking in a positive way, you would not have been given gifts in the first place, and on the basis of positive thinking in life coach, they exploited this idea in serious matters such as your health. Think about the mental diet system. I always told you about it as a great example, the power of positive thinking. So you find them saying that I am not a problem related to thinking, not a health problem, and that the whole issue is related to your thinking. If you are convinced that you are a spectacle that is fattening or belittling, then with the power of your thinking you can lose, without realizing it, we are coming to see the problem that emerged from behind the phenomenon of positive thinking. You have become more focused on your integrity and holding your thinking responsible for everything, and you are mastering any other factors. I mean, for example, if you cannot find a job, it is impossible that the reason is poor economic conditions. The reason is the way you're negative thinking. Also, my friend, I want to make it clear to you that I am not attacking everyone who takes care of their profession and helped people solve problems in their lives in a practical way, not superstitious. I also do not encourage you to be pessimistic or to keep away from promising goodness. On the contrary, I want you to do so. Think well and take the reasons you don't depend on throwing everything at yourself and your thinking power is good and green like that. I will continue to tell you about the last method that the wellness system uses to impose itself on your life, which is a concept called gamification or values, which is that you apply gaming methods to your real life, and its idea depends on transforming any routine or boring thing into something that you can love and be addicted to, and you give it rewards to continue. In which... For example, you have applications whose idea is based on turning your daily routine tasks into a game. Who is your friend since the first time you wake up? Who is your friend and go to work or go up the stairs or do the laundry, wash dishes, read a summary on an app, appreciate literally anything you do, and then when you finish a set? The important thing is that you get points that will get you to a higher level in the game or allow you to get equipment. You buy items for your character, game power-ups, and so on. There are applications in many other fields, such as education, and even in passports and the good health system. It can make employees swallow the work system and increase their productivity. I would love to do it, and in fact, you can spend more hours at work in order to gain points in the company and make you receive a bonus or get a raise, you can be promoted, and so on, and in the end, my friend, we all remain happy and in good health, ha. Huh? We are successful in our professional lives, but the hour when every disease is revealed is perfect, imposed on you and not on yourself because of the wheel of production. So you end up in a spiral of oil and exhaustion that just needs to adjust the scales of your life and don't come at your own expense. We said in the comment, are you for or against the regime?